after my last video on Eurolift and Resume, a lot of you are wondering, well, how do I decide? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're going to talk about how to decide between Eurolift and Resume. If you missed my last video on this topic, make sure you check it out because I go over the five-year data on outcomes from each of these types of procedures. Very briefly, both of these procedures are used for symptoms of benign prosthetic hyperplasia. That's usually symptoms of having difficulty urinating, maybe having to strain to urinate or having a weak urinary stream, sometimes having to wait for your stream to start or having your stream start and stop. Oftentimes, you will also have symptoms called storage urinary tract symptoms, and these include needing to go very often, urgency, going very frequently, or sometimes even having urinary leakage because they can't make it to the bathroom in time. And sometimes people will wake up at night to urinate as well. So these treatments, very briefly, Eurolift essentially is a treatment that works to create a channel in the anterior portion of the prostate by actually lifting the tissues using a suture and a little anchor. Resume is a treatment using convective water vapor therapy that tends to essentially use that water vapor to vaporize the prostate tissue and open up a channel. Both of these are minimally invasive treatments that are often done in the office using some sort of local numbing medication or anesthesia. The beauty of these procedures is that often they're done in the office and they have very little sexual side effects. So how do you decide? Well, based on the data that I presented in my last video, Eurolift tends to have a lower duration of catheterization, has a lower risk of sexual side effects, but does have a higher retreatment rate, meaning that it's more likely that after Eurolift, your symptoms may come back and you may require further treatments down the line. Resume therapy, on the other hand, tends to need a catheter for a longer period of time. And while there were no rates of erectile dysfunction, there was a small percentage, less than 7% of people who had a decrease in ejaculatory volume, meaning their semen volume was noted to be decreased. However, they had lower retreatment rates. So I think ultimately it depends on what's important to you. If in the short term, having a little bit of a longer catheter, but having less risk of needing another procedure down the road is important to you, then resume may be the option for you. If you wanna have no risk of having a reduced ejaculatory volume and have a catheter for a shorter period of time and don't really worry about maybe needing another procedure down the line, then maybe Eurolift is for you. Ultimately, talk to your urologist, see what they offer and what they think is best for you based on the size of your prostate, the anatomy of your prostate, and other factors they may be considering. As always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.